Like, I don't know what kind of GMOs y'all are gatekeeping down here, but I will find the fuck out. Hey guys, what's up? It's Em. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. So I just got back from Malaysia and it was super fun, but now it's on to the next page slash chapter. I don't know. I was trying to go with the metaphor, but I don't know how it turned out. But anyways, I have an invasive species growing on my face, um, but I'm packing for Australia now. I'm so excited for the cooler fall vibes in australia because it is so hot and humid i'm like sweating while packing and i'm also packing up my room because after australia i'll just be back in singapore to pick up my stuff and i'll be heading directly home to the u.s so i've already started getting some packing going i got this um new kind of weekend bag from muji it's so cool don't mind the mess in my room but it extends at the bottom and there's also these handy like pouches and like straps oh this is like the little thingy that you can slide onto your like rolling um like hard to case and then there's also these like snap pockets and there's like this um kind of like internal like wire frame that gives the back structure and it's super you can tell that it's like super well made when you hold it it's like very sturdy and i love these little pockets i've been using these to organize socks covid test kit because we need to test on arrival in um sydney and then uh bras and underwear oh well and i'm trying to pack clothes and i'm trying to gauge how 70 degrees feels like i feel like i haven't felt that kind of weather in at least like half a year actually maybe not maybe more than half a year so i'm really trying to like scrounge up fall vibes and i'm also trying to pack decently light so we will do this. I packed some tank tops because I love just wearing tank tops with like a hoodie slash sweatshirt on top. But I also want to pack some like more versatile pieces that could look slightly nicer since we are going to see a show at Sydney Opera House, which I'm so excited for. We're seeing the Sydney Ballet perform like contemporary dance. And then I also want to pack clothes that could transition for like maybe like a nice like dinner but I surprisingly have like a good number of long pants that I brought. I have like the sweatpants I wore to the airport as well as like some like ripped jeans. And I'm trying to remember if I can tolerate shorts in 70 degree weather. I'm pretty sure I could like with a thick hoodie on top, but my room is a mess. I'm dead. So my room is almost completely packed up. I have some trash to throw away. And oh shoot, I actually need to put that in my room. I'll see you Probably never, but bittersweet, man. So we're at the same Kaitos we ate at for Bali or before Bali. And, but this time, oh, sorry. But this time they don't have any toast. They only have, or like their classic toast, like with like sweet toast. They only have their savory toast options. So we're gonna try that today. Middle school Emily is co waking. The weather is so beautiful today, and you can see the Sydney Opera House literally just right over there. Yeah, see, it's literally right over there. That's crazy. Vlog. <laughs> oh, the lighting's so nice. I know, it's so cute. Chloe skin, no foundation, no yeah. concealer. Hashtag ad. <laughs> it's a herd of cockatiels. Oh my god, or cockatiels, cockatiels. <laughs> We're at the botanical gardens. It's so bright.
giant naan for two bucks. Two AUD. Yeah, that's so good. Wait, I kind of want it. Oh my gosh. Is it good? We can get another one. We can go back for more. Okay. Well, I gotta save my stomach for something later. Oh, well. Mom and dad going on date night. <laughs> Yay, we're at the fish market. It definitely smells like the fish market. <laughs> but it's the weather is surprisingly really nice. So thank you, weather. We got a mini Tabasco. <laughs> so, oh, too much, too much. Oops. Mukbang, mukbang. Cheers. Cheers. Y'all, at my Australians, I don't even know if there's any of you watching my videos. Anyways, how the fuck have y'all been gatekeeping, gatekeeping these big ass lemons that are so fucking juicy? Like, what the fuck, y'all? Now I know, and I'm onto y'all. And now I'm spreading the word on the interwebs. Y'all can't hide for long. The weather is somehow so beautiful. Thank you. Thank God, you know, honestly. This just became a shot on iPhone ad. <laughs> Y'all, you know we just had that lemon fiasco? Well, we're eating this damn fruit and it is way too good to be true. Like, I don't know what kind of GMOs y'all are gatekeeping down here, but I will find the fuck out. Okay, bye. I'm gonna eat my fruit. Oh, I was showing to the camera. Oh, <laughs> whoop. Dang, you gotta write your to-do list in this book. That's how you get shit done. I know, I know. It's so cool. dark but haha <laughs> italian food yummy i think we should have italian food tomorrow too actually i don't know we'll be at the zoo so we'll probably end up eating like weird weird ass zoo food but whatever okay bye driving. Us driving. we just tried vegemite it's not bad but I don't know if I would go out of my way to eat it, besties. Hmm? I don't know if I would go out of my way to eat it. That's the tea. But it's not bad. Okay, back to the... Let me show you guys what I'm eating. <laughs> Look at these beautiful waffles. Yes. Look at that shine, girl. Oh, what highlights she used, though. Follow the instructions of the crew. Smoking is not permitted anywhere. The arrow's head looks so fake. I don't know. Surfer's code. Dun dun dun. Squad. Boyfriend. Ooh. 
vlogger's first sip of a Negroni. I love how you're showing me your phone. Oh! Okay, is that me? Question me. It's definitely an adult tree. Just <laughs> <laughs> like, so oh, I can smell it. It tastes like you're chewing on a grapefruit. Oh, it feels like a whole. guys it's our last day in Sydney and we're currently at the harbor and there's low-key a wedding going on <laughs> we got bubble tea from this place it's really actually quite nice or I just got normal tea it doesn't have any bubbles it's like a frappe it's quite refreshing but it's kind of cold and it's Mother's Day but we're not at home sad but everyone's out celebrating for Mother's Day so everywhere is packed um, what else? Oh my god, it's the Tetinger. I feel so, you guys, ever since I watched the champagne documentary on the flight here, I feel super just spiritually elevated. The boba tea place that we went to sold like colored contacts and I was really thinking about getting some. But I was too bashful to ask. The is really nice today. It's, it's hey guys, everywhere is packed due to Mother's Day and we have nowhere or we have no food where to eat but we're debating between two options. Let's see where we end up eating. The Golden Arches. It's not bottled water. I didn't know I could get bottled water. It's okay. Y'all, this area, like honestly, Sydney just has so many like just cute little inlets i don't even know how to describe them there's just like little s segments of the hood that's like filled with food places and just like a lot's going on or it's like not like, like crazy nightlife but it's like just like foodie nightlife i don't know i love it but this kind of lifestyle is not sustainable long term because where is the money like look how cute it is here so freaking cute like there's so many fun, like modernized, like Asian cuisine. It's like all hipsterized, which I guess the, that might be like suspicion, like not like super authentic, but it looks super good. Oh my God, this place is bumping. All right. Oh, but they're seating, that's good. We're at Wing Boy and we're really excited to eat some wings. I think I'm gonna get the tenders because I'm like really bad at eating off they the bone. I look terrible, but we're not gonna talk about it, okay? We're really just not. Hey guys, so I don't know if we ever discussed this, but Tiger Beer is just glorified Bud Light. Like, no cap. Like, I think it low-key gives me a superiority complex knowing that Tiger Beer tastes like Bud Light. <laughs> This is really good too. Whoa, this is a shot of vodka. You won't taste anything. <laughs> oh my gosh! This fool can't think about anything other than drugs. No, I'm just trying to bartend in my head. Thinking about good mixtures, good quality alcohol that will have that will make people have fun and no hangovers. 